So the randomised Nuzlocke walkthrough and playthrough, let's play, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm just going to get started so that I can discuss what a Nuzlocke implies and what my settings for randomise are. So I will just quickly go through the intro because we've all seen it before. So what is a Nuzlocke you might be asking? Well I'm assuming that you've already seen a few randomised Nuzlocke's or just Nuzlocke's or any other form of a Nuzlocke challenge that you could think of before and that you found mine by searching YouTube for a new one or whatever. But basically, if you don't know, a Nuzlocke is a challenge where, um, where basically the, base, the first two rules are if your Pokemon faints, it's classed as dead and you can't use it for the rest of the game. It's unusable and it must be either released or placed into the PC. The second rule is that you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter on each route. And if it faints or it runs away or some other reason why you can't catch it, then that's it, you don't have another chance. You can only catch the very first Pokemon. I'm a girl. And those are the two basic rules. There are a few other rules that people use and abide by. And first of all, let's put my name in. It won't add the second I, so let's just skip it and put Brisinga, which is a reference to Inheritance Cycle Aragon, if you know. If you don't, I'd recommend it. Go read it. It's a good book. But yeah, there are a few other rules that people use and I'm going to use because it makes the game more fun for me to play and for you to watch. So the first rule that I am using that you don't have to is that you must nickname all of your Pokemon. And this is so that it forms a, you form a bond between the trainer and Pokemon. You know, stronger and you get closer and all that. Um, the the other rule. Let's see if I can find it. Oh yeah, a blackout basically. If all of the Pokemon faint. If all of my Pokemon faint, yeah, sorry, <laughs> if all of my Pokemon faint and I black out or white out, whichever one it is in this game, then as long as there are Pokemon in my computer in the PC, then I am allowed to continue playing the Nuzlocke challenge because, technically, there are still Pokemon in my game. How, like, some people don't do that, I'm going to do that though because it's unfair to like class it as a game over if there are still playable Pokemon. With that in mind though, if there's no Pokemon in my PC and all of my team white out, then that is classed as a game over and the Nuzlocke challenge will be lost and I would either have to start again or just leave it there as a loss. And that's all of the Nuzlocke rules I have. Um, for my randomized settings, a lot of people do different randomized, like randomized um, sections of the game. I have tried to not overcomplicate it and I've made it like as simple as possible basically. What I've done is I've randomized my starters completely so we could get anything from a legendary to like a Pidgey. Could be anything. 
Um, all of the wild Pokemon are random completely, and I've also set it to catch them all mode, which means that every single Pokemon that's available to catch in the game will be placed into a random part of the game. So where there would have been any Pokemon, it will have been like it won't repeat them. Once one Pokemon has been put into a place, the next one won't be the same. It'll be a different one. So every single Pokemon should be catchable. Not that we're going to find them all, but that's that's fine. The other setting I've got is I think that's it. But I will check again anyway. Oh yes, I've turned impossible impossible evolutions off, which refers to trade evolutions and trade evolutions with items because this is a single player randomized Nuzlocke I won't be able to trade Pokemon with other people so therefore I won't be able to get trade evolutions so what this does is it it unlocks those evolutions and makes it so that you don't have to trade so they will evolve at some point I think it's around level 30 it's around that area of levels so if I ever get like for instance an Onyx it will evolve into a Steelix eventually. I, I won't need the item for it, I think. Like, we'll find out, but that's basically it. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, let's actually get started with the game. By going downstairs and saying hello to our mother. Hello, Brisinga, you're finally awake. Your friend Ethan was just here. He was playing hide and seek with his Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, is looking for you. He said he had a favour to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Thanks. Thanks, Mother. I like bags. This is your trainer card. So that I remember my name. Here, you can save a record of your progress. Yay, saving! But these are also rather helpful. Option, yes, we will change the text speed in a minute, because this is agonisingly slow. I don't know why I gave her like an overly British accent, but that's just that's just how it goes, I'm afraid. Let's just quickly change the window to that one. I like that one. Now we can get going and actually start playing things soon. <laughs> oh, there's a Marrow. Yes, I'm playing this like at night. <laughs> that's why it's dark. I hope that's okay with you guys. <laughs> Fine. Oh, look at the look of Marl. He's adorable. I want a Marl. Marl is super cute. Marl! Look at that creep creeping through the window. Let's talk to him. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon lab. What are you staring at? Oh, don't kick me. That's just rude. How, do How would you like it if I came up to you and kicked you in the face? You wouldn't like it, would you? Don't do it to other people. You gotta be considerate. God. Hi, Brisinger, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? A fair bit, mate, a fair bit. You is a Pokemon professor, after all. As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Ethan does. He does? And it's so cool! I can't wait! Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. Yeah, six. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. Hmm, it could. It could, you know. Like, friendship evolution. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm getting a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon, outside of its Pokeball, to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between people and Pokemon? I got that the wrong way around. <laughs> the device over here, there are some Pokemon you could choose from. Ooh, we're getting a Pokemon, guys. I can't wait to see what I want. <gasps> oh, hey, I got an email. Yeah, yeah, getting tacky there, mate. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. Very original. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. Probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Ooh, right. As I said, this is randomised, so let's see what our possible starters are. First up is a Blaziken, a Cherubi, and a Shinx. Well. 
I don't know because I don't want to like be. I don't want to just go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the blaziken because it's a blaziken. Hmm. Because you know I don't. You can't just go. Oh, I'm gonna have a blaziken. That's just rude. I am gonna have the blaziken though because I can. It, it, it's one of my possible starters, so that is what's going to get chosen. <laughs> so you're all going to have to deal with it. Uh, give a nickname to my Blaziken? Yes, please. It is a boy. So... I was going to say, oh yeah, I'll call it Brasinga, but I am Brasinga, so I can't do that. Because Brasinga means fire from Aragorn and the Inheritance series. That's why I... that's what it means, basically. Um, so, what else can we call you instead of a cliché fire name? Hmm. I don't know. Don't know, you know. You are a chicken. Oh, a terror bird. Oh, that's a really cool dinosaur. Hmm. Oh, what are those really cool eagles that look like Blazkin? And they're like terrifying. Like a blood eagle or something. I don't know. Um, what we'll called? Do you know what? We're gonna be all cliche and call it Blaze. Because I can't think of anything else. Um, it's a fire type, so yeah. <laughs> I'll get better with nicknames when I have like more options and more ideas, so it's fine. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? Mate, I walked like 10 steps from the machine to you. I can't really give you an opinion yet. You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. What, am I not allowed to keep it? Like, what are you trying to say? You're trying to take my Pokemon away from me? If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Do you say so, mate? Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Brasinga. Let's get going, then. And now we shall have some potions for all our potion needs. We get five of them, to be precise. Try and say my Pokemon's weak. That's rude. You are rude. I'm not talking to you again. Oh, there's Ethan again with his Marl. His Marl would destroy my Blaziken. <laughs> Brasinga, so you picked a Blaziken. That's a cute Pokemon you have. It's more cool than cute, but okay. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. I will. I'll talk to it now. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mum? See ya. Bye Ethan, see you later. Because you appear all the time and you annoy people, but it's fine. Who cares? Let's go and talk to our mother and show her our blaze gun. Hopefully she doesn't get terrified of it. Oh, Brasinga, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Why does everyone keep calling Blazekin cute? He is fierce and cool. Yeah. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Well, I didn't just pick it up outside, did I? Oh, Professor Elm is tasked as a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see, that sounds a bit difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. The poker gear came back from the repair shop. You trying to nick my poker gear? You trying to do, woman? I'll get you. Fight me, IRL. Thanks, I'll take that back now, shall I? God. What's she like? Can't, can't take her anywhere. I know how to use a pokey gear. Shut up. Shut up, mother. For God's sake. Yes, we know. You click a button and it rings them. It's great. They really are. Oh, listen to that music. <laughs> listen to that music. Oh, I get, I get all nostalgic. Because the first Pokemon I ever played was gold. Wait a second. This is where he creeps on us and he gives us his phone number. Like, here, take my number. It's fine. It's not fine. Stranger danger. Stranger danger! Okay, okay. Go away now, please. We're just gonna leave. I have a blazekin, and I'm not afraid to use it. But I get all nostalgic, because oh, Pokemon Gold. It was oh, it was so good. Because, like, when Red and Blue came out, I wasn't, like, I was too young. 
to like have a DS or oh, no, DS. Have a Game Boy Color by then. So yeah. I only got gold when that came around. But my god was it good. I played that game so much. You have no idea. Wow. Our very first encounter in the whole game and it's a ride area. That would be a beautiful Pokemon later if we get the chance to catch it. Then it excuse me, then again, thinking about it, the catch rate on that has gotta be ridiculous. Like I bet it's so hard to catch a ride area. So we probably have no chance, so yeah. We'll see when we come back. If I didn't mention it earlier, you can't like Nuzlocke rules no, Nuzlocke rules don't actually apply until after you have Pokeballs because otherwise it wouldn't be fair. We can't catch a Pokemon yet, so therefore this encounter doesn't count. And if we die, <laughs> it doesn't count either because we've not started, we don't have anything to, you know, replace it with. And we didn't get a chance to catch anything. So, oh my god, please don't. Don't actually kill me yet, that would be so embarrassing. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to jump back now. Oh, I can use a potion. Yeah, we use a potion. I'm gonna pick one up at the top anyway. But yeah, look at that XP. We got a level, guys. Yeah, it's the first battle. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. But we got two levels. Ooh, that, now that would have been good. Now let's just heal up. Use. Hey! Such an original name, like, oh my god, I couldn't think of anything better, I'm sorry. I may change it later if anyone has any suggestions, because Blaze, for a Blaziken. <laughs> it's very cliche, but that's why I love it, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, so Nuzlocke doesn't actually count until Pokeballs have been obtained. Yeah, basically. But when we do get Pokeballs, we will be able to catch... Wow, now there are some good Pokemon on this route. It's just a shame that they're at the very beginning, because that means we can't catch them later. I mean, if I find an evolutionary line later, I'll be able to catch it. That's what I didn't mention about Dupe's Claws and Shiny Claws, but it'll be in the description and at the side earlier. It will have gone by now. But, um... There's two exceptions to the second rule where you can only catch the first Pokemon on the route. One of them is a dupes clause, where if you encounter a Pokemon you've already caught before, or like, say, like with my Blaziken, if I run into a Torchic later, then I have the option to skip it, which I'm going to, because the whole point of a randomised Nuzlocke is that you are getting different Pokemon that you wouldn't normally use. So what's the point in having a Blaziken now, and then catching a Torchic later? There's not. So if I, like, for example, if I run into a Torchic later, later on in the game, I won't catch it. I have the option, or well, I will have a second chance of catching something on that particular route. The other exception to the uh, first encounter rule is that um, the shiny clause, which means basically that if you run into a shiny Pokemon at any point, if it's the first encounter, then it doesn't matter anyway. But if it's like on a route you've already encountered something on, then you're allowed to catch it because it's a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> and why wouldn't you catch a shiny Pokemon, quite frankly? Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Everybody loves shinies, so why, why deny us from our shinies? <laughs> and plus it means, you know, free Pokemon catch, doesn't it? So it's fine. But not that I'm expecting to run into any shinies, but that would be very, very nice. So, just saying. But let's make it after I have Pokeballs game. Thanks. Please don't jinx me. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got an old man here. Going to teach us some things. My god, he runs quick for an old man, doesn't he? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't... You weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. The old man is waiting for us young'uns to catch up. I love it. It's great. Like, really. <laughs> yep, that's a Pokemon Center. And this here is a Pokemon where we can buy Pokeballs. Not yet, though, because it's not programmed into the game. <laughs> that's our next route. We'll be able to catch a second Pokemon in there. Actually, by then, we should have already had two encounters because we can go up to the um, route that goes... that comes down from the last village. I can't remember what it's called. Blackthorn, maybe? 
you can't basically, when you get on that route, you can't actually go up because there's a fence in the way. So you can get a Pokemon there though because there's grass on this side. So we'll have had one from the route just off, just off of Newbark, and then one up there, and then the one on Route 30. So, <laughs> hey, we'll be raking in Pokemon later. And we just got the running shoes, thank god for that. Because now... We can run everywhere! Yes! Gotta go fast! <laughs>